Absolute beauty. Take a look at that powder, man. Those high yellows, man. My own. Now, again, of course, we did not pair this girl, so it's not a guarantee that we Oh my god! Over and over and over again. It's getting a little bit too much. I food. Oh no, your sister already got me with that one. I'm not hey, folks. How's it going? And I hope your day is good. Today is working day here at DBCB Exotics. We got a couple things on the list on the agenda for today, and I figured I'd come have you guys coming around with me while I do stuff in the building. Look right on in here you guys can see one of the quinces is basking out on the ledge he's probably gonna get freaked out and spooked as soon as i move but yes folks today is the day we are finally getting rid of this stupid thing this is one thing on my list i can't stand this reed fencing you can actually here is the other one you see you can't even see him you, you, you can't see him i hate this stuff First thing on the list has to do with this tent right here, and that is going to be all about the stupid, stupid reed fencing. Absolutely can't stand it. Never see these monitors. In fact, if you're on my Instagram page, you'll see I'm like, oh, a rare sighting of the quints because I literally never see them. So this is coming out today. I am really happy about that because I'll finally be able to see my animals. We are going to go ahead and actually turn these lights off right over here just because I'm probably going to have to move the lights while I pull the fencing out. Pretty much going to have to pull everything out of that enclosure, get the fencing off, and then put everything back in. And that's about it. Stuff we have to do today has to do with the Tegu lizards. Now, as you guys know from last time, Bertha looks pretty gravid, if I do say so myself. While these Tegus aren't fighting in general, they seem to coexist pretty well. I have noticed that Blue, Blue is this Tegu right here, the male, has been bullying her slightly. You can see she's a little bit deflated. Not much, but it does seem that Blue is kind of bullying her for the food. And he just keeps trying to breed with her. It's like over and over and over again. It's getting a little bit too much. I, I can only assume those follicles are, you know, inseminated and they're good to go at this point. So Blue and Bertha don't really need to be together. Now at this point, we need to make sure that this Tegu is getting all the food that she needs in order to lay us a clutch of eggs. The original plan was to actually remove Blue from that enclosure and keep Bertha in there until she lays her eggs. However, Blue is a pretty large Tegu and Bertha is a pretty small Tegu. So in my mind, it makes a lot more sense to just utilize pretty much one of these scents, like this 5x3 I have right here, almost as a paternity tent. That way it's a bit more cost efficient for me to lay the substrate in, the proper amount she needs to lay her eggs. She's a little bit more comfy in there. She's gonna be alone, and so then her sole job right now is to be nourishing those follicles, make them into eggs, and then lay me a clutch of eggs. At that point, we'll be removing the clutch of eggs, and then Bertha will be going back in with Blue. But for the time being, they don't need to be together, and I think this paternity tent has a temporary enclosure. It's gonna work out just a little bit better. So first thing on this list is going to be getting the quince monitors out. I feel like them just running around, squirming around will make my job a little bit more tough. So let's get these quince monitors out, cut this reed fencing, and then move on to the other stuff we have to do today. Here we have the first one, just a little bit bigger than the other one, a really nice quince monitor we've had for a couple of years, an absolute beauty. Take a look at that powder, man, those high yellows, man. It's only getting better with age, an absolute beautiful monitor lizard. Now we are gonna put this guy in a little temporary enclosure for right now, but then, oh my God, it just shit all over me. But then after that fact, we'll be putting them back and hopefully they won't continue to poop on me. And here we have the other beautiful quince monitor, a little bit skinny. I'd like to see this one get a little bit more food off to make sure that we're putting extra and see if they're um, bullying her. This is another real issue why I don't like the reed fencing is the fact that I don't know when things are happening like this because these guys are so hard to see. So when you're looking behind the reed fence, you don't really notice that this guy is a little bit skinny. But after looking now, I can see it does need to pack on a little bit more weight. It might be to the point where we got to separate them if they're not getting along anymore, if there are, is any dominant stuff like this or bullying but we will see in the near future. Now with that, I don't have the reed fencing in here, it's gonna be a lot easier to see stuff like this and just enjoy these animals all together because look at how absolutely magnificent they are. Take a look at that face right there. Just beautiful, man. And let's finally remove the monstrosity that has been plaguing my life for two years. It might look good, folks, but I will be the first one to tell you that I did a big oopsies putting in this thing. They work great for other animals, but just not the quinces. Reed fencing, just as hard to get in as it is to get out. I hate this. <laughs> Now 
Now to put everything back together. Alright, now that we've got this all set up, looks like the quinces are now fully awake and a little bit more squirmy than what they were before. But we got this set up, let's see how they enjoy the new home without the ridiculous reed fencing that I cannot stand and I'll finally be able to view these absolute beautiful animals. Oh, can't forget number two, this little adorable dude. Look at that little face, man. What an absolute amazing animal. I am completely in love with these quince monitors. So now they have their brand new home where they can just explore and enjoy without hiding in the reed fencing. Very glad I got that out of the way. They have plenty of sticks to climb around on. We got this nice basting area. There's something going on with the UV bar. I don't, it's not, it's not turning on anymore. I don't know if I broke it while I was doing this stuff. Probably should have taken the bulb out, but you live and you learn. 90% of the time, I bet we're gonna start finding quinces up on here because they try to go in the most inconvenient places instead of enjoying the many branches that I forged blood and sweat into to get over to their enclosure. But we'll leave these guys alone, get them time to get adjusted to their new enclosure. Oh, maybe they'll dig underneath the water bowl and that's where they'll hide next. Quinces always love to hide. We have a little nice log hide over there, but you know they'll find the most in uh, inadequate places and just places Places that'll make you go, hey, where's my quince monitor? And then you'll find it underneath this giant pool of water. Now, while I actually don't care how the enclosure is gonna look, is because that one's actually a temporary enclosure for them at this point in time. We finally are able. Now we're finally able to sell those rack systems off. Someone's coming by tomorrow to pick them up, which means now I just need to head to the pawn shop, sell some saxophones and amps that I don't use anymore, and we'll finally be able to upgrade our big boy Bimpson right here. We'll upgrade. Look right, this big boy Bimpson. The big boy Bimpson, we're gonna be upgrading him into a more bigger enclosure, which means I have to... It was at this moment he realized he messed up. Oh, wait. If I put the Tegu in there, where am I gonna put the enclosure? Okay, this is why I make videos, because I was just gonna do it and then not realize. Hey, thank you guys. Huge shout out to you guys right here. Okay, new plan is to get rid of this enclosure, get rid of this enclosure, move this enclosure all the way up to here, and then I do believe that will give us enough space, because if it's about here, that gives us this much room to wear Bimson's cages. That might work out. That might be the new strat. I'm so glad I made a video, because I would have done this, and then when the tent came, I would have been like, huh. What do I do now? But anyway, now, now, that, now that we're back on track, so what I'm planning on doing is Bimson's going into a large enclosure means this 5x5x6 five by five by is gonna be free. Now what I wanna do is give this to the pair of quince monitors we have right over there. They're gonna be in this absolutely giant enclosure for the size they are. We're gonna have a nice giant water feature. I'm hoping to put in a waterfall. Uh, depending on how much it costs, that might not be doable right now. But a nice water feature. We're gonna go get some giant branches and make it look just very big jungle theme. Finally, an area I can walk into and tame these quince monitors. Cause I've seen some very tamed quinces. Obviously, Obviously, those guys aren't it. And with this new enclosure, being able to walk in on them into their territory and just handle them and interact with them is gonna be much easier. And I feel like I'm gonna have a much better shot of taming these guys down than I would in an enclosure like that. By the way, boys, I just wanna give you guys a quick update on our beautiful little Argus gal. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Sometimes the belly looks smaller. Sometimes I, I might wanna go check out that dig box. We didn't make a lay box for her. And you can see she has been using it. She's actually knocked most of the substrate out of it. But I did see a small burrow in there. Maybe later I'll check in. Usually they, they look a lot more deflated than how she looks right now, but potentially maybe there are eggs in there. I might as well take a look and see. If there are, of course, Patreon members will be the first to see them, but I'll eventually make a video for you guys with an Argus clutch if there is one in there. What an absolutely gorgeous animal, man. This is a wonderful little monitor. 
And now that you guys can actually see the pattern, look at that. Look at those brilliant golden O's. Just the pattern itself, that beautiful face marking. This is a very beautiful girl, and I cannot wait to have some babies of her of my own. Now, again, of course, we did not pair this girl, so it's not a guarantee that we Oh, my God! <sighs> look at that. Just fucking nicked me, dude. I didn't even feel it. That's how sharp these guys' teeth are. Just literally out of nowhere jumped two feet. Cause you gotta think, like she jumped from here up to here, right where my hand was, and just barely nicked me. That is how sharp the Argus Monitor's teeth are, which is why it's so important to tame these guys as an adult. Cause you imagine if this was a Bimson bite, it definitely would not look like a little spot on my hand. This would be a messed up hand right now. That was, while that was very scary, it was also super cool. Hey, little mama, I guess we get the drift. We'll leave you alone now. I know you want to just bask and take care of those babies. We will see you another time. Here we might as well take a little look at look at our Lilith girl, our little, our little Argus smaller Lilith, who is a lot more fiery than uh, our other girl, who actually is not named. Drop me down some names for that Argus girl that's grabbing right now. Uh, the best one wins, I'll put the comment, but uh, it has to be a good name, no stupid ones. I lied, make it the stupidest name you can think of and I'll name my Argus monitor that. <laughs> Lilith is doing absolutely awesome. Definitely a bit more cantankerous than her sister. However, she is getting at a pretty good size to the point where a couple more meals and as soon as we get that enclosure in here, we are gonna be pairing her with our big boy Bimps. And at that point, again, another shot at Argus monitor eggs. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Looks like she's slowing down a little bit, finally realizing that it's not food. Oh no, your sister already got me with that one. I'm not beautiful. Oh my god! Woo! Definitely a feisty girl here, boys and girls. My god! They definitely have that Argus temperament. You can see the stereotype with this girl and this girl alone. But it's alright, we'll leave ya. We'll go to your more calm husband, Bimpson. Before all you guys get on my case about the monitor not having a lot of substrate, all these nice bags for her. There's gonna be plenty of substrate in there. I've been slacking just because over winter it's very difficult to find topsoil because uh, all the Home Depots for some reason just don't carry them anymore and the bags are frozen. I already know it's gonna be a good day when we go hang out with my main man, Bimpson. The fact that we're filming him a lot more, he's gonna be a little bit more less camera shy and a little bit more receptive to handling while showing you guys on the camera. Because when he does on the camera, you see he's on his guard a little bit more than he is without the camera however if we want to get him adjust that so I can show you guys just what an amazing monitor lizard this really is and just take a look at this beautiful boy take a look at that head man absolutely dinosaur like this is like owning your own little dinosaur I absolutely love it what an incredible animal of course, he's still doing good. He's a little bit hungry. You can see he's getting a little bit more tongue flips, getting a little bit more curious. So we aren't going to try to pet him today. It is food day today. I'm going to feed him right after I make this video. But I just wanted to give you guys a little, little look at my main boy, Bimson. I loved showing him off. An absolutely beautiful animal. Getting at a much better weight than he was before. He's still a little bit chonky, but definitely not that overweight status that he was in the beginning when we first got him. All right, buddy, I just wanted to come say hi. We'll check you out a little bit later. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I did not think the Tegu thing was going to be this much work, since now I have to drag all these enclosures out, empty this substrate, and then move the tent over. Uh, so we're actually gonna make that tomorrow's video as well. So you guys get two reptile building videos this week, and of course, it just means less work for me having to film and do all of this at the same time. Looks like somebody figured out where the basking spot is. Such an incredible animal, man. So we'll be saving that for tomorrow. We did some good stuff today. We got to check out some Argus monitors. We finally fixed the Quince tent. We got to talk a little bit about a sneak peek of what's going to be happening with the Quince project and move that into that absolutely giant cage for him. Very excited about that. And then, of course, Bimson's going to be going in a bigger cage. And at that point, we'll be pairing it with our female Argus monitor, Lilith. Well, my Bimson Colt, thank you again for watching another just super exhilarating show where I talk about my lizards. I'm so glad if you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep eating for the next month. Boys, guys, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to follow us over here at DBCB Exotics. We'll see you next time, but until then, goodbye.